Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to install MyoStar for the first time and how to update an older version of MyoStar. Um, I've made it as easy as possible because the old version of MyoStar was only like three, like about four, four mouse scripts, um, but the new version of MyoStar is like, there's like 15 files um, that make up the new MyoStar. I've added a lot of new features that should make it, I'm hopefully about 10 times um, easier and more powerful to use, 10 times better. So um, I'm making this video, um, it's uh, in January 2015. Um, so um, okay, so it's really easy. Um, I created a, because there's so many more mail scripts, I created a, a, a setup dot, a MyoStar setup dot exe file that will automatically install MyoStar for you. So much easier than before. Um, there's just a few things you have to keep in mind and I'll go through them as we go. So first thing you do is after you've downloaded the MyoStar setup exe is you can either double click on it or you can right mouse click on it and click open. So when it opens it gives you a little important message um, that uh, says you know please read the top of the instructions license page to get instructions. Uh, the license license page to get instructions. Um, basically what I'm going to tell you in this video is what's on um, on there. So if you forget um, what I'm saying now in the video, if you can't quite remember what I said, um, you can see it right there in the license page. So that will refresh your memory. So you just click yes to continue. And here's the, the instructions. Um, basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be installing Maya Star to a very specific location on your computer um, and making sure another file um, doesn't get overwritten or is updated properly either manual most likely manually um, um, if you have other plugins um, installed other than Maya Star um, and so um, so where you want to install Maya Star is in your scripts folder uh, that's inside your version number, which is inside your Maya file, which is inside your um, your documents folder. Um, on my computer, um, it's in my documents folder, Maya version 8.0. Yeah, I know it's really old, 2007. And then it's inside the scripts folder. Um, I'm on XP. If you're on like Windows 7 or 8 or a newer version of Windows, maybe even Vista, um, um, it probably won't say my documents. It will probably just say documents. And you can kind of see, you know, it's C on your C drive usually inside your documents and settings, the name of your computer, um, my documents, uh, or on newer versions of, of Windows, it would be uh, documents, um, Maya, version, your version number, and then scripts. Okay, so that's the first thing you need to know where you're going to be putting this stuff. Um, the second thing you need to to be concerned about is a as a inside that same folder um, is sometimes um, if you have third party plugins installed, they will create a user setup mail, uh, which Maya Star uses as well, um, and um, but a brand new or a, a new installed version of Maya um, there's no user setup mail by default so if you have a, a pretty new um, installation of Maya you probably don't even have a user setup mail if you don't have a, if you go to that folder and you don't even have a user setup mail don't worry about it you can just um, look through the rest of the the license agreement which is here um, and click yes um, and so um, and then continue on. But if you do have a user setup mail, you have two options. Um, um, you can either, uh, I would suggest um, um, opening up your user setup mail um, in a Word document, um, in, a, in, in Microsoft Word or Notepad. No, not Microsoft Word. You don't want Microsoft Word because it can tend to save it in the wrong format. Uh, WordPad or Notepad is what you want to open it up with. Um, and if it looks like this, where it says source um, mystar dash mail dot uh, uh, or menu dot mail, and if it looks just like this, then you're good to go. You can simply close it, and we, you can continue. But if if you have already installed mystar and it has this and more stuff underneath it, that meant 
that means that you have third party other third party plugins installed and you don't want to lose the information here so if that's the case all you do is you can um, um, as long as it says source myastar dot menu dot mel with the semicolon and the and the quote marks if it has that in the user setup mel you can just click um, no um, that you don't want to overwrite it because it will ask you it will say hey we found an, another version of the user setup mel um, do you want to overwrite it yes or no and you just click no um, that's as long as you have that that line in there if you have other third-party plugins but you don't have that line in there what you can do is um, um, if you scroll down a little bit you can just highlight highlight that hit control C or left mouse button and hit copy and then just paste it in to your old user setup mail and then hit save um, if you have other um, third-party plugins installed that, that, that if it has other text in there um, and then when you click yes to continue um, the next step is to browse to where your users to where your scripts folder is and like I said mine's in my documents yours probably will just say documents here um, or you can do it the long way and you know go to C Drive documents and settings the name of your computer um, um, my documents and if you want to do it the long way I'm pretty sure you can do it just by going to my documents here um, Maya um, 8.0 because that's the version and scripts and then you click OK the thing you got to be really careful of is that in that same Maya folder is another scripts folder um, let me close this it's right here it's directly underneath Maya you do not want to put the installation of Maya Star here it will not work it has to be within your version number uh, scripts folder I don't know why Maya decided to put two different scripts folder in in there it just seems like it would um, cause confusion um, but anyway so you just want to make sure it's in the uh, one that's underneath your version so if you had uh, say Maya 2012 64 bit it would say 2012 uh, forward slash 64 or 64-bit or 32-bit or it just might say 2004 I mean 2012 dash 64 but anyway so that's your version number you put it in that script uh, you click on the scripts folder and you click OK and then you click OK again and um, and here I'll click OK and it's giving me this warning you know do you want to overwrite the user setup mail you know and so if you had added that text manually you can just say no and then to update the other um, um, mail scripts you can just click yes to all at that point um, and it will replace all the old um, um, mail scripts that I made for Maya Star because there have I did make quite a few updates to uh, a number of them um, so I'm just gonna close this um, no 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 I just wanna close this okay and it says I wish it had no to all <laughs> It'd be a lot faster um, so it says okay users Maya's user setup as installation complete it says if Maya was open close it and open it um, um, and that's exactly what you want to do you can install Maya star with it open but you won't have the um, um, the menu won't appear at the top until you close Maya and you reopen it so um, so if all went well um, which I'm sure it will because it's really easy uh, you'll find a new menu at the top of of your screen usually next to the help button um, called Maya star and this is the new Maya star for those who have had it before um, 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 I've added a bunch of new features in here um, you no longer have to open up a template um, you can just click activate Maya star you can have your mesh clothing already in the scene um, but you want to make sure your mesh clothing is not rigged that there's no skeleton that it's just the mesh clothing um, um, if you've already done some rigging and I would and you want to continue to to adjust the the weights of what you've already done I would save the weights 
and detach the skin of your mesh clothing, delete the history, and freeze transformation, and then um, so that everything's nice and blank, um, and that you don't have another skeleton or another avatar or anything in it that's just your mesh clothing, and you click Activate Maya Star. And this brings in the avatar and the skeleton and everything you need uh, for Maya Star. And you still notice that it says untitled up here. Or if it was your, if you had the file open of your mesh clothing, uh, wherever you had saved it, it would have that name. Um, so this way you don't end up um, messing up your template um, um, by doing it this way. And the bones are named correctly and everything, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, because there is a problem with tendency if you import a skeleton into um, an existing scene that it changes the names of the bones. Um, but I doing it this way, it doesn't mess up the name of the bones, so those who knew that. But I added um, things like um, um, uh, editing appearance. These are the same sliders that you have in Second Life. I'm going to go into a video that shows you um, uh, more later of how to use this and what each button does. Um, I have the five standard sizes here so that if you just um, click on one of the standard sizes here's the standard size shape medium small and so and so forth um, this is the default avatar often referred to as the avatar in the relaxed position um, with the with the um, skeleton in the um, default position um, and the mesh has no um, has no uh, blend shapes applied to it. So this is exactly what it looks like um, um, with just the mesh and the skeleton. Um, uh, then you have a SL default avatar shape, which is actually different than, than what the OBJ files that you can get from uh, Linden Labs is. Um, when they were setting up the default shape in, in a Second Life, I guess they figured her head was too too small, I mean too big. So they made her head smaller by just moving the sliders. They made her arms a little bit wider. And they made her butt <laughs> a little smaller. Um, um, so that, that's the difference between the avatar. So if you ever had exported the um, avatar mesh as it was and resed it on the ground and looked at it and then tried to match up your own avatar, um, um, your own avatar, oh, that's my kitty. Um, you will notice that, hey, why is her head bigger? Why is that? Oh, and then one other thing that it does do when you go that, they decided her eyes were too close together. So anyway, so that's the difference. Um, so I'm just about out of time. So um, um, I just want to go over, uh, there's one for female, one for male. I added animations and poses so that as you're rigging and you want to see how your um, avatar, how your mesh clothing moves. When your avatar moves, I added the animations. Um, uh, these are all the same. Collision bone select, normal bone select. These are all the same. I did add collision bones rotations, which I have to go through in, come on, open up, in a different uh, video. It's very important. You have to do this beforehand. Uh, auto resizing, so you can auto resize to the five different sizes. Um, one other quick note to know, and I'm running out of time, so I'm doing this very fast, is before you tear off this um, by clicking up here, if you just hover your mouse over, a lot of these you'll notice have little hints and what they do and how to work them down here at the bottom as just to remind you of what to do. Um, um, and, you know, little hints and suggestions. But once you tear off that, you do no longer get those hints. Just to let you know. So if you're stumped as to, Ooh, what does this do? Just um, open up the file and hover over it, and it will give you a little clue or tell you what, what to do and how to work, work it. So um, um, that's about it for the introductory. Um, like I said, I'm going to be doing a series of videos on how to, how to adjust and rig for fitted mesh, how to do the resizes, um, and the procedures that you need to do. So um, that's about it. Um, I'll look forward to doing the next video, and you guys have a great day. And thank you for buying my star. <laughs>